Good day everyone, this is Jacquette Setro, you're welcome to Setro Fashion School channel. Today I want to be doing sleeves. Thank you so much for those of you that have been dropping comments on our words, pressing the like buttons and uh, one of you, I've received some comments about more clarifications on sleeves, so that's what I want to do today. I want to teach you how to write your sleeve in an easy way using your arm hole and arriving at your puff sleeve, your jacket sleeve. It's just pretty easy as A and B and C. Remember, that's always a slogan at Central Fashion School, online school. And a very quick one, very soon I will keep bringing out a, 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 a just. What, what you're seeing now, we're going to be having an online class just, just within three weeks or at most one month. You're going to learn how to make your blazers, your jackets, and, and what have you. Just very easy at Central Fashion School online, just within three weeks. You're going to learn how to make this. It's coming up very, very soon. So you're just going to enroll. You, you, you check the WhatsApp number on the screen or the number for the phone calls on the screen, then you can really get started, but it's just very, very soon. So most of our class students, online class students, they are doing pretty great. Central Fashion School, so it's still ongoing. Don't be left out. We have a class ongoing now. You can call us on WhatsApp, you can chat with us on WhatsApp, call the, uh, the line for calls, and you, you, you really do pretty great without physical concert right now, anywhere in the globe, anywhere in the world, you just come out of fashion in Guru, in guru. a fashion guru, I mean. So let's get started, how to cut your various sleeves. So cutting your various sleeves very, very easy, 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 and easy as A and B and C. What you have to know is this shape, this shape of S, this is the shape for your sleeve. So, you just keep drawing this, keep drawing this, and when you come in very well this way, it means it's going to be a puff sleeve. When I cut it onto fabric, you're going to see how it's going to come out. All this allowance it's, will be made for your puff, your puff sleeve. So, you, you pleat it for the pleat on your curl, just like that. So, but when it's just this way it's not that curvy it's just for your jacket sleeve you don't need any pub so how do we arrive at that it's as easy as a and b and c one thing you have to take note of is the fact that you need the measurements of your round ham hole round ham hole this is your round ham hole round ham hole is taken this way these are to take your arm hole measurements round ham hole have you seen it? Round arm hole. When you want to make for your soft or a customer, you just take it this way. This is my round arm hole, this is 18. You tell the person to lift up her arm this way. You know, some person, their bicep is very big, they are big arm. So, and if the arm hole is not free enough, they are going to be having, that's why I see, they'll be having pepper sensation on the arm hole. They'll tell you, I'm not convenient with this cloth and they'll not be able to wear it. So it's very important to take your arm hole measurements, round arm hole. So this is a round arm hole, this is 18. So for me, it's 18. So you, you've gotten that. So to achieve your sleeve right now, you just said your round arm hole, what do you need? Achieving your sleeve, you need your round arm hole, you need your sleeve length, you need your round, arm hole measurement is 18 you need your sleeve length sleeve length you could use 14 16 it all depends on the length of the sleeve it's it varies could you use 16 inches 7 inches 18 just like that depending on the length the person wants or you want then the round sleeve the round sleeve so that's what we'll be using. That's what we'll be, you'll be needing to get your sleeve measurements. And remember, we're doing a puff sleeve first. A puff sleeve. So how do you arrive at your puff sleeve? This is your puff sleeve. Although this, this puff is not too puffy, 
but this is your puff sleeve that we want to achieve puff sleeve so you've seen the pleats by the time you're doing this puff sleeve it will come a bit down it's not going to be just like your jacket sleeve so what do you need sleeve length let's assume we're using this this sleeve length is 17 inches or well, let's just make it 15 inches then plus turn it in I'll make it still 15 so this is the sleeve length then you just come here remember it's a jacket sleeve remember it's a puff sleeve so the edge will come in this way and you're good to go so at this point you just determine your round armhole your round armhole is 18 you divide by 2 so this the shape of the hairs this way like your integration hairs it's this way because of the puff the pleats you're going to achieve by the time you pleat this point can you see it by the time you pleat it so it's just going to come as if it's still your jacket sleeve so this allowance has been made for your pleats that is going to form your pore. So it's your pore sleeve is going to come a bit in this way. Then you just determine your round arm hole. Your round arm hole is 18. You divide it by 2. Whatever your round arm hole is. If yours is 16, you divide by 2. If yours is 20, 22. For those with big by step you divide by whatever measurement so this 18 so you know somewhere this point you're going to start then this the sleeve length it said i'm using 15 it all depends on your sleeve it all depends on the sleeve you want to achieve so i've chosen 18 remember you put allowance for turning in so that means this will be like 14 inches it's just a guess work so at this point you now determine your round sleeve this is your round sleeve here this is your round sleeve this five and a half that's 11 your round sleeve is 11 round sleeve it's 11 so you divide by two dividing by two that's what will give you this five and a half so you just come here five and a half inches so you could just make half inches for sewing allowance so six so you're good to go your sleeve is ready. You just use your ruler. And connect the points. So, your puff sleeve. Your puff sleeve. Puff sleeve is ready. So you just cut out, you could place it on your fabric or you use your fabric to cut it out. Achieving it on my fabric, it's pretty easy. Just fold your fabric into two this way. I just want to achieve one sleeve, not two. If you want to achieve two sleeves, you fold it into four. So I just want to achieve one, one part of the sleeve. So you just fold it this way. You fold it in out this way. Remember, if you don't want to use pattern, you could just cut out draft out your what is it called your measurement on your fabric and you cut out your sleeve you cut out your sleeve that way so you have it your sleeve it's ready your puff sleeve is ready. The 
epoxy is ready this way. I turn you the sewing in. This is what I was trying to explain to you. We just pleat in this point this way. So you see, we've made a lance for the pearl. So you're going to have something like this. This is the pop. This is the pop sleeve. So again about adding something like this. You can see your pop is now there. That's why it's called your pop sleeve. You just pleat it to arrive at the pop. So remember this is the allowance for the pop. Just as easy as A and B and C. So watch out for the next video on how to arrive at your jacket sleeve without pearl. Do have a lovely time. So we'll see you again.